Recent restaurant growth is likely due to Paris's well-deserved statue as a culinary mecca. Many of the city's oldest restaurants have been given three and two Michelin stars by the city's younger chefs, bringing them up to current standards. Le Laurent is the best eatery in town. The Michelin-starred French restaurants Le Brosse and Le Maurice serve delicious meals. The restaurant Copenhagen, located in the Danish pavilion of the Maison du Denmark, serves diners with unrivaled views of the Charms Elysees. Travelers can relax knowing that a talented chef who has earned two Michelin stars will personally prepare each meal and tend to their every whim throughout their stay. Number 1. La Cine The personnel at La Cine, a brand new fine dining restaurant, were overjoyed to begin working with chef Stephanie Le Keller, even before she was awarded a Michelin star in 2014. This young lady apprentice under Philippe Lejeune at George V and then Philippe Jordan at Terre Blanche, two of the top chefs in the world to become one of the few women in France to be awarded a Michelin star. The concept behind this business is to put the spotlight on the chef and her team. The kitchen is the focal point of the dining area which is decked out in wood and marble and looks over the courtyard and its famous antique mosaics. The chef's devotion to using ingredients at their tastiest is reflected in the dinner and lunch offerings. Number 2. La Condesa On your trip to Paris, one of your goals should be to find hidden treasures like this gourmet restaurant which is tucked away just in front of Pigalle. The young chef opened the restaurant with all his might. Chef Indra Carrillo received the Young Chef of the Year award from Galt and Malo in 2016. That's why it's not so shocking that he worked out on his own to open a restaurant in this cool district of Paris. If you dine here, you can be confident that the chef and his colleagues are having a blast creating these delicious marvels despite the tight quarters in the kitchen. Some of the amuse bouge items include tempura fried leaves, sitting on a flower stem, pumpkin seed, and black olive tapenade crackers, and steamed spinach with a savory taste roll within. Number 3. Pure the concept of the chef's table was conceived by the Palace Hotel's head chef, jean Francois Rouguet, a very humble professional given the hotel's reputation for serving outstanding food. The chef and his colleagues are on full display as they make the restaurant's signature dish, Tuscan grill with burning vine shoots thanks to its circular layout. However, the chef's table is an exclusive sitting space for up to six guests with unrestricted views of the action in the kitchen below. Diners can pick from the restaurant's creative menu options which include dishes like abalone with parsley and ginger, or they can plan and prepare their own special menus. There is a single bottle of wine served with each dish and that wine list include Krog Vintage. This fine restaurant has dishes that can't be found anywhere else in town except here. It will be quite difficult to decide on a single dessert now that Fabian Bartia has been named Best Pastry Chef of the Year. Number 4. Copenhagen. The Danish house which proudly flies Danish flags and is situated at the foot of Arc de Triomphe on the Champs Elysees serve up delicious gourmet cuisine. After a recent renovation, the restaurant brought in a young, talented chef from Denmark to showcase the country's rich culinary heritage. Andreas Moller is a well-known chef but his tattoo covered arms show that his passions and skills lie in other areas as well. Nevertheless, this is where he excels the most. Every day he has everything flown in from Denmark to provide the freshest products possible. The art dealer table reflects Scandinavian simplicity and beauty. The main floor of the Maison du Danemark also serves less formal dishes, making it possible to have a less formal supper if desired. Number 5. Laurent Between the US and British embassies lie a little roadway known as the Avenue Gabriel. This is where you will encounter Laurent, the serene and exquisite one Michelin star dining institution that counts precedents, ambassadors, and the top of international business among its regular clientele. Dishes by chef Elaine P are a beautiful marriage of color and flavor. Every year, he comes up with 30 completely original seasonal dishes thanks to his unlimited imagination. His root vegetables madly is a classic on the menu and for good reason. The diversity of colors it gives makes you feel like you're eating a painter's palette. The terrace is the actual gem of the restaurant and delivers calm privacy and the sensation that you are snuggled far off in a private home in the French countryside. This oasis has reconstructed by Hittorf in 1842. Number 6. Le Maurice michelin star chef Christophe Santain of one of Paris's best restaurants prepares his dishes with meticulous attention to detail and a remarkable lack of embellishment. This young chef is a key player in developing the ever-evolving cuisine at Le Maurice under the leadership of executive chef Alain Ducasse. 
Their main cause of lobster have been named the most luxurious dinner in recent memory in the city of light. The lobster is given a scorching bath for 1 minute and 15 seconds before being served with paper-thin scalloped potatoes arranged in the shape of fish scales. One example of the many little but meaningful touches made by the staff throughout the evening is the fresh herb tea cart from which your white-gloved waiter snips citronella, mint, sage, or rosemary sprigs into silver teapot. Number 7. Silvestri Wahid Rarely do you find someone who is both skilled, humble, and kind, but Chef Silvestri Wahid embodies all three. This is evident in the high quality of the meals he makes. Choosing to die in a Michelin 2-star establishment like this one may be a substantial investment of both time and money. However, what Le Silvestri of Paris gives is a genuine dining trip where your palate, sight, and olfactory senses are led on a pleasurable journey over a meal of around 10 portions. When questioned, the chef often use the term feminine to describe his creations, delicate flavor, and pleasant texture. As props, it employs sugar crystallized dry sea lettuce and fermented blackened garlic, both of which provide a delightful sweet taste aspect to the dish. Hidden above a popular brasserie, this eatery provides a rare chance to have a meal in an atmosphere conducive to candid conversations. With the toasted bread and the handmade bone china plates, the already superb meal is elevated to a new level of sophistication. Number 8. Imperial Treasure Huayang's courtly cuisine will challenge your preconceived notions about Chinese eating. Finely slicing ingredients and using minimal salt and oil are hallmarks of traditional Chinese cookery. Since it is one of the four major cuisines of China, the People's Republic of China served it as a centerpiece of the 50th anniversary steak dinner. Singapore's native chef has expanded to Hong Kong and Guangzhou, and his restaurants there have earned him five Michelin stars. Mr. Leong has taken the best Chinese food to new heights with his innovative use of exotic ingredients from across the globe. As a means to this end, he includes exotic ingredients like steamed Alaskan king crab, fish caught that morning in Brittany, and caviar from Madagascar in classic Chinese meals like dim sum and xiao long bao, which he loves to serve with fluffy egg whites. The restaurant's specialty is Peking duck, which has been lacking. Mr. Leong got his start in restaurants in Hong Kong and now oversees a chain with the support of frequent meetings with executive chefs. Number 9. Guy Savoy Overlooking the scene from the Quiet Conti, this restaurant in the freshly refurbished Monet de Paris serves a contemporary gourmet cuisine in a historical setting. The Monet de Paris is the oldest governmental building in France, having been constructed in 864 under the reign of Charles II. There are beautiful vistas of the scene from where you now stand. The furniture has been arranged to make the most of the available natural light and to create a dramatic atmosphere. On a bit of ice, the staff serves Scottish salmon that has been flown in, seasoned with a citrus triad right in front of you, and then sprayed with citrus consomme. And last but not least, number 10, Le Page. Parisians whisper when they discuss Chef Alain's Passat's resto, as if discussing a religious rite. Several of the dishes described here have major vegetable components and need at least three hours of preparation time. Vegetables were the focal point of the chef's attention in the early 21st century. The open flame technique he learned from his grandmother has remained his go-to even though he has access to more sophisticated cooking options. But in the last decade, he started using his flambeing, grilling, and roasting skills to prepare veggies. Famous French chef Paul Bocuse says, Learn how to travel softly with your pan on the open flame to ensure texture, flavor, color, light, and transparency with your vegetables. He ensures that his food is always fresh with three gardens. The gardeners and I dispute carrots and beetroot like others do over Chardonnay and Cabernet Franc. What is your favorite restaurant? Tell us in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this.